Preservationists are rallying for tougher enforcement of a landmark building in Brooklyn after they say the beloved house is falling into disrepair. CBS 2's Hannah Klieger is in Bushwick to explain why they're calling for action. The Lipschitz Cook Mansion stands in stark contrast to the gray square developments around it. Yet decaying shingles, cracks in the facade have hit a nerve here. Let's not allow the pressures of the real estate industry to just buy and flip everything and turn it into this ugly looking thing. But there are four open landmark violations according to the Department of Buildings and HPD's website lists 13 complaints in the last two years. These activists are worried the building can one day suffer a demolition by neglect. Work with us so we can keep people in their homes so we can continue to promote home ownership. An LPC spokesperson says the agency is aware of the condition of the mansion and has been in contact with the owner to discuss next steps. The Cook Mansion was built in 18 89 and designated as a landmark 10 years ago. But right across the street are these Ulmer townhouses. Landmarks recently refused to designate these, citing changes in architectural features. This was one of three refusals the community got in the past two months. Developed in a relatively short period of time by a handful of architects that were funded by the brewing industry. All of this architecture tells a collective story. The group says there should be an active effort to save these architectural treasures in a community that faced tough times when preservation wasn't always a priority. Surviving historical resources in Bushwick absolutely must be judged within recent historical context, born of disinvestment and racial discrimination. LPC cites the creation of the first historic district in Bushwick in May on nearby Linden Street as an example of its equity goals. Hannah Klieger, CBS2 News. We reached out to the property owner, did not hear back. The Landmarks Preservation Commission says also it will continue to study the neighborhood for preservation opportunities. Hannah is our community reporter covering Brooklyn. If you have a story idea for her, you can contact the address you see on your screen.